Hello YouTubers. Well, all I can do is apologise and please do forgive me. Um, I'm a couple of days late for releasing my weekly video. I've um, obviously been ill, which I told you in the last um, video that we did. Um, but from coughing, I think I've broken a rib, so I've been very uncomfortable. So today I'm just going to bring you a quick, just a quick video today. But my next one that I'll release next week, it'll be next Sunday or Monday, is a goblet. We're going to do a goblet. So I want to show you that I've done one and it, it looks amazing. So I want to show you what I did on that and how I did it. Um, first time I've ever done it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. It's my one lung. I haven't got the COVID, by the way. I've had COVID tests, so just so you know, I've I've had flu. So this is what we're gonna have a go at making today. My little flat donkey, donkey horsey. Um, <coughs> very quick and easy. Everybody could make him. So I've got a lighter coloured brown, <coughs> so you'll be able to see it easier. Um, so we we'll pop him here, and I've done the shapes out already. So to do this horse, all you're going to need is like this. You're going to need body, head, legs, back ones, and those two are the back ones, hooves, ears, eyes, nose straps and hair. There probably isn't enough hair there, but we will have a look and see how we get on. Um, this is the first time I've used soft Fimo. And I have to say, it's really nice to use. It's really lovely and soft. So let's move so that back over there. Just I'll keep it in the camera. Oh, I'm throwing a leg off. I'll keep it in the camera view so you can see what we, we're using. And, uh, and we'll pop it there. So the first thing we're going to do is get the body. Now the body, all I did was roll it into a triangle flatten it down because I want my head of my do my horse downwards so like so and literally just make sure he's nice and soft uh, nice and sort of wow you don't want big grooves in him just sort of nicely like so sorry about the snoring that's my Rottweiler and I have a cane corso as well she's um 15 weeks old but that's my six year old what six this year snoring like a pig she's great they both are oh there you go okay so i've just rubbed it up and, and just made sure there was no majorly big dents in it you don't want dents in it and things like that so we'll pop it like that let me see if i've got another tile to put it on um some all over that one bear with me folks and here we go it's easier to make it on a tile because then you can cook it on the tile as well or a piece of glass or anything like that so try and sort of put them in the middle I've made tried to make this one a little bit bigger so you can see it well so so the next part we're going to take is the head again I just literally put it into a, a triangle squashed it flat so it sits flat like so and then just squeeze and pinch the nose in and then you just want it going down into a nice just like that into a nice um, slope and that's all you want again no major lumps and bumps if it's got a few it doesn't matter this is going to have hair on it and everything as well so don't panic too much okay so that's what we've got there so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut his mouth in okay because that is easier to do holding it up like this before you put it to on than it is I've got dog hair in that one look it's yeah easier to put it on like so I'm just worried you can't see there we go is that better okay so we're just going to cut it in so you don't want it too high but you don't want it too low like so this soft Fimo I have to say it's the first time I've ever used it and it really is lovely okay so there we go so this one i was going to put a tongue in it but i don't think i'm going to i'm just going to have it open just slightly the only trouble is with this soft one as lovely as it is it you can sort of mold everything back to how it was very very quickly so if you do it not quick enough and you want to make it like a mouth 
what you tend to find is it um, disappears again very very quickly see no, no issues but it's lovely to use I mean if you decide you want to put teeth or something like that in him you can do but that's that's good enough for me for now okay so on the slopey bit we made here we're gonna just pop that down as far back as you can get it without it distorting the shape now you're not going to see any side bits so if you see anything side but wise don't panic because you've got legs to go on there and that okay and then all of a sudden if you look he's looking like a proper good horse already now I'm not so keen I'm looking at that I'm not so keen on this bit here so I'm just going to use the knife I might use a blade actually just to slice it down and get rid of that front bit let's try that that's better it was sitting underneath his head and, and I didn't want that to be something that would be seen so right there we go so all of a sudden you've got a head on a body looking good it looks a bit like a crocodile right now which probably wouldn't be hard to make like so now you could if you wanted to flip him over and just rub it gently but to be honest I mean if you wanted to you could do but it's something that I I didn't really worry about nobody's gonna be looking on the underside and to be honest, once you've got it all together, it's so sticky that um, it just kind of works. If you can see the underside of that one. But nothing's coming off. Look, they're solid. So I just sort of gently moulded it on there, but not very much. So, OK. So the next thing I'm going to do are legs, because I don't want it to get in the way. So, ooh, look at that. I'm taking up the... Whoops. That's annoying, isn't it? Oh. Let's try and save that big piece. Got it squished on my watch. Won't be able to make another piece if we need it anyway. Right, okay, so you want the bit that's got back legs first. So that's a back leg, I can tell that straight away. And probably that one. Because I wanted this bit on the back, so it's like the, the back of a, a leg sort of just mold it as you choose the nice thing about it is you can just do it as as you want to whatever it is you like but this is just a bit of fun just a little bit of fun so that one might be a bit thick actually there's another one I bet that's a, a back one as well look okay so just sort of mold it downwards and then you've got straighten it all out now on my other one I stuck it on so sort I of have it facing you now I want mine so my legs are flat out like that. Now the other nice thing about this soft touch one is it sticks really well to itself. So I haven't had to use any extra um, like liquid clay or anything like that, so which is great. Okay, so there's front back legs on. So here's the front legs. Okay, so the way I did it on this one, which I'm going to squidge this down because it's just too far. Like so. And again with this one, you probably don't need it quite that big, in all honesty. So I'm going to probably pinch some of that off. Because you don't need all of that. There we go. I kind of made a, a big one this time so that you everybody could see it properly when I was making it. And... Um, I'm kind of getting my, finding my feet with my sizes and everything, so do bear with me. Okay. Right, so you're going to lift him up very gently, because you don't want his head to come off. But then if you've been along and done that, I mean if you wanted to, I might just put just a little bit if you want to, in any gaps and that that you've got like there, I've got one. And it doesn't take long just to give it a bit of a, a wiggle. There we go. Let's stick another bit in there as well, so it's not, so there's not a lull down there, shall we say? It's whatever it is you choose, you want to do, really. I mean, this little fella's probably just going to sit on my desk with the other one, 
um, but I just thought they were really cute, really fun and really easy really. Anybody could really have a go at it. It doesn't take sort of too much. As long as you do the steps that, that we go through together I think we'll probably be alright. So front legs. Okay. And then just tuck them underneath where you want to. Like so. Try and keep them the same sort of size. Oh, I've got my arm I've done it again. Look, let's move that out of the way, shall we, before I really sort of destroy something. Okay, so there you go. So there's all legs are on. And you can see already he's starting to feel sorry for himself. Okay, so if you see bits that you're not sure on, just gently rub them with a the tool. And it will just sort of mould in together. So I'm happy with that because you don't forget you're going to have um, you're going to have hair and everything all cascading down there. So there's no panic if you're not happy 100%. You won't see it anyway. So there we have four legs, a head, and whatnot. Okay. So just straighten it out. This soft touch one, like I say, you only have, don't have to touch it hard, and you've marked it. So that's that's something I'm finding a bit of a problem. But other than that, I can't really complain. It's been great to use. Okay. There we go. Right. So the next bit I'm going to do is put his feet on. They're just little round black bits. Just made out of black clay. And we're just going to do them and we're just going to push them on. That simple. Make sure he's nice and... I mean, if you push his legs up, it just chunks them out. That doesn't matter. There's another one for the front foot, like so. Another one for that front foot. Oh, it might be a back one actually, it looks quite big. There you go. You can just push the legs back if you wanted to. And then that one. There we go. So there's your legs. On. Easy. Done. Feet. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do are the ears because I always think you need to get the, the head built up before you can decide where you're going to put your nose and, and your eyes and everything. So all I've got here, two triangle pieces of, of clay, nothing special, look. So what you're going to do is like that, and then you're going to squish it flat, really thin at the bottom, because then it's easy to just sort of mould into it, like that. So you just flatten it, and then I just come along with a tool and just just put a little indent in it so it's got a nice indent in there like so and then just rub your fingers through it so it gets rid of any marks if you use normal clay for this then obviously the, the marks will go but you've just got to be patient and just give it a bit, a bit of a longer rub okay so that's really big ear I think that might be a little bit too big so I'm just going to cut the bottom off out there and then squish it out again like we did before squeeze it in a little bit like that and then we're just going to stick it on the top of his head wherever you feel the ears should be now you could say this looks a bit like a dog you could do a dog if you wanted to but I do think he looks like a horse once you get all the yeah, it's too far back. Ooh. Once you get all the bits on, you'll start to feel like what he's meant to look like, like a horse. But you could turn him into a dog very, very, very easily. Very easily. Okay. So there's one. Just bend the tip over if you want to. I like to bend the tips over on it. Like so. So we're going to do the same on this one. No, I've made that one a bit thinner, so I'm going to cut that off again. A little bit off that one. Okay. Into a point. He's supposed to look all sad and, and droopy and like that he's got the world on his shoulders. 
Okay. I'm just going to rub the middle like we did last time and squeeze the bottom flat. The bottom needs to be as flat as you can get it because that is, is going to help when it comes to, to putting it on. And it's a completely different shape. It doesn't work, does it? Right, let's just see if we can salvage this. Oh, it definitely looks like a dog. Oh, his nose is a bit long. Mm. Might have to redo that one. Okay, so they're very quick and easy to do. You're literally going to roll it round into a point on the end, like so. Make it flat. There we go, look. Okay, and we're going to do the marks again. I think I might cut too much off this one, you know. See, it does happen to everyone. It does happen. It happens to me. It happens to everybody. Um, sometimes things go right, sometimes things go wrong. Well, I mustn't forget to do eyebrows. Let's take that one out and put it over there. Right, let's try again, shall we? Hope you're all enjoying the weather. It's about time we've got some nice weather. I'm sure you'll all agree. It's been nice to be able to sit out in the garden for a change. There we go, that's better. Right, we're going to mark the inside there. Like that. And then I'm just going to rub it like I did before. I'd just like to say as well, while we're sat here just sort of working on ears, um, thank you to all my subscribers so far. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit that button because we're going to do a chalice next. Um, this is my next video. That's better. It's still a bit big. Um, a yeah, I'm going to do a chalice, a, um, a goblet kind of thing, um, which I've never done before. And like I say, I've done one with a dragon and everything on it, but I will show you that in the next video. There we go. How's that? Okay. Um... And it would be great if you didn't miss that. So the support I've had has been fantastic already. Um, I do appreciate it. I just have been slow at putting some videos on this time because, like I say, I've been so ill. Um, so please don't let that put you off. I am trying very, very difficult. Trying, very trying, my mum would say. Um, to, to keep on top of it. But like I say, we're struggling to breathe a little bit. I don't know for why or what's going on, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I haven't felt great at all. Right, okay, so let's do the eyes. So now with just a, a pokey tool, you could use any tool. I've just got a plastic one. I want um, an eye here. And I want an eye here. See how already he starts to get that um, that really good feel of... of um, what he's going to be. So I've got some white that I already um, rolled up earlier. And then put that in flat. So make sure your hole is big enough to take your... And then just give it a little prod at the bottom. Okay, and then I've got a black piece to go in the middle which I've just looked and I think is far too big, so I'm going to cut it in half, one each side. I'm just going to pop that below. And then let that come out just below the eye, so it comes actually onto... It actually comes onto his uh, the brown. And then just tuck it in like that with one of these. And then I've got another little, very small black bit, which I put usually there. It just gives the eye a little bit more of a 3D effect. And then just push it down again. It just gives it that little bit extra, that's all. There we go. All right. I don't know for why, whether it's the way I work, but um, they always seem to look that way. 
So all of mine look that way. So this is what we've got now, so far. It's starting to look pretty cool. Okay. A bit concerned there's quite a large gap between his ears and the back of his neck, but we'll see if we can just cover that over with, with hair and see what happens. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is eyebrows. So you want a piece of black, like that, and you're just going to roll it, just like that. Okay. Get it nice and thin the eyebrows you don't want them very big and then just nip off the end there and then nip off that bit there make the second one a little bit smaller because it you can add on the points at the ends then there we go so there's if you can see them they're so small I'll put that back over there they're really really dinky okay so I'm gonna There you go, and you just put it where you want it, and just tap it down gently. Okay, and again, on the other eye. Right, for some reason, my eyes are, that are supposed to be white, the white bits, have gone brown. So that means when I was doing my, all the shapes earlier on, I didn't um, clean my hands properly. So I do apologise about that. But my other one has actually got grey eyes. So I don't know why I've done, I don't know. Right. So the next thing we're going to do is, he's pretty much done now. So we're going to do his nose. So we're going to use this. We're just going to, at the end there, push it in. And kind of make a uppy sort of motion. Push it in and uppy. And then if you're not happy with it, just... Push it down slightly like that and you can push it back sort of and make it there we go perfect okay so that's my face if you can see my nasal passages that's all well and truly on there okay so I think I'm going to put on his um, his thing across his nose like so now the only thing I do like doing about the, with this is I like to put dots in it so it gives it a little bit of extra um, how to it, it's a little bit of extra detail that I do quite like so I'm just going to push that over the end there tuck it in each side and with the knife I'm just going to push it in and cut it at the same time like so okay there we go and then with a, a tool just make sure it's well and it's put, sort of pushed in at the bottom like so there we go right so the only other one I want to do is going up the back so up the sides here there okay so I'm going to do the same again I'm going to put marks on it all the way along hopefully I'll get both sides out of this one like so like that and then I'm just going to put it on from the back this can be a little bit on the fiddly side okay as long as it's tucked down behind his leg you won't be able to see it and then it just literally sticks to that so with a, a tool just tuck it down like so and push it on like that Perfect, and then just cut it very carefully. There, okay, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side, and just exactly the same. Just turn it round, and we're going to just tuck it down behind the leg with the tool. It, it, it like I say, it is quite fiddly but it is worth doing there you go and then go over the, exactly the same the way you did before now there will be hair coming down this but this is why I'm not so worried about um, sort of neatness where the joins are because you won't see them anyway okay so there we go so that's if you can see that he's got his face on 
looks pretty cool. Okay, so the next part really is his hair now. Um, if you wanted to put some colour on him now, um, like splodge marks, like I've done with this one, I've put black on him. I don't know if you can see that. It's not very clever for recording at night, but all you need is a very small amount of black. Put it through your capacitor machine on the smallest setting, the thinnest one, because it comes out so thin that you just tear a piece off and plop it on. And then just rub the edges gently and it just literally goes in. If it smudges a bit, it doesn't matter. It's a it's a patch. See? Just like that. So pretty much wherever you want, you can have a, a patch going down between his eyes there. You could also do a cowl exactly the same. It's all sort of basically the same sort of thing. Same sort of shape. But um, it'd be entirely up to you really what you wanted to do. You can see a hair there, look at that. Okay, dog hair. I'm sure many of you have also got dogs. They get everywhere, and then just they don't e need to be sort of deeply um, molded in as long as they're on and they're kind of splodge marks. Might put a little one on his nose, very small one. Oh, no, not even nasal passage, nasal, nasal passage. There we go, look. Like that. Uh, put another one on his, one of his legs. Perhaps that one. If it goes down like that one in between the two legs, don't worry too much. Just use a tool. Because if you'll find, because it's so thin, it just sticks really well. Um, this Fimo that I'm using, the black, is not soft touch. But it sticks very well to the, the soft touch clay. Um, which is something I will be purchasing more of. I think it's absolutely amazing. It's brilliant. Okay, so that, I think that'll be it now for my black splodges. So now we have to do the hair. So really, it's just a case of the bottom ones. You can do a little bit thicker if you wanted to. So like this one. That's not really very thick, is it? Uh, I've done sort of a load of them, but let it sort of hang out the back, but come forward as well. I want that far forward. Because the mane should just sort of flop down. Don't push it down too hard. You don't want it down too hard. You just want it to sort of sit there really nicely. You don't want massively long ones. So just break them in half. You can go down the back with um, the fun. This is the fun bit of this bit. Because this really sort of gives me his character if you like. If you don't like it you can just sort of pick it off and redo it because you're not putting it on too hard so it's it kind of makes it easier um, it makes it a bit more easier to do if you like so again just break it in half lap them over the top of each other lay them down where you want them to go and there's another largish one in there look you can do short ones longish ones it's entirely up to you really on how quickly you want to get it done i think the smaller ones work better built up um, they just i don't know they've just got more of a, a hair feel about them but it's entirely up to you And then we've got to do his tail as well, which we'll do in a minute. Again, we, you need sort of a pile of these, just sort of all together. And then just sort of let, lay them down over the back of the neck. That's it, like that. It's not a speedy job, this one. It's a bit on the slower side, but 
if you do it really well it looks really good they don't have to all come through the ears at the front they can just kind of stop and nobody will ever know where they've come from or or anything like that oh that's a big one isn't it you just sort of fill a hole with it just tuck the end out so nobody can see where the end st starts and there's such a mix mash of of uh, lines in there that nobody will ever trace it back to the end of something sticking out and then you want a little bit of pressure just to make sure it's all sticking you don't want it to stick although you don't want it to stick heavily it will stick heavily when you cook it because this is polymer clay so you could do this with an air dry if you wanted to um, I don't know how easy it would be to do with an air dry but So now it's starting to build up behind this ear, which is what we want. I will have to make some more. They only take a couple of minutes to make. And then a couple of seconds to, to put on. I think he's looking great. He doesn't look like a dog anymore. So you want to fill in any gaps you've got down the back here. You don't want him to, anybody to be able to see his neck. So try and, and sort of fill in the gaps as you go. Pick a side and then kind of just just do it. And then you have to go to the other side. If you do have a bit that's sticking out like that, you tuck it underneath another one. I had a piece of my hand just oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. It's starting to, to take shape down the back there now. If you can see, you can't see through the back of his mane, if you like. So it's starting to. I hope you can see this because I've recorded it at night, which I think is probably a very stupid idea. That's not going to work either, is it? Okay. How's that? That's better, isn't it? Yeah. So you can see the back of the mane. Oh, like so. Like I say, this is recorded at night, which is a really stupid move. So I've just got to make sure the other side's all good. Like so. And then we're going to make some more. Like I say, do subscribe below. Hit that subscribe button now because I will be making some some goblets. I've got six black glasses as well, which I don't really know what I want to do with. Um, you, you've got any ideas, write in the, the thing at the bottom, in the comments, if you want to see something in particular. Um, I don't mind. I was thinking of along a dragon sort of theme, making them into sort of dragon goblets, like a set of six. Um, but like I say, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Okay. My dogs are so tired, they've been outside all day playing. We've got a dog pool because it's so hot and it's not fair on them. And they've been playing in the pool all day. The puppy's been very, very funny. She seems to like it. I'm going to draw up that one a little bit thinner. Oh, it keeps coming apart. I think it's because it's not conditioned. It's, it was the other night. Well, only the hair I did earlier on. So it's kind of gone a bit cold, which makes it a little bit on the the breakable side, shall we say. There we go. There's another one. Okay. A couple more on the back. And that should do it. And then we've just got to put a tail on. 
Yeah, it's broken again. It's definitely on the colder side, that's why. Okay. There we go. Down there. Just tap it down. When you put these in the oven, even if they don't feel like they're 100% sort of secure on there, they won't come off. Um, and then all I did was used Fimo top coat, gloss coat, um, and gave him two coats. That's all he's had, two coats. And the shine on him, I'm so pleased with him. He's lush. He's a really lovely looking little horse. Got a lot of character about him, which is really what you want. You want lots of character. Okay. It's a big one. Last big one, I think. Perfect. Okay, so that's both sides. I'm happy. If you can see that. His little face. He looks great. Looks a little bit happier than the other one. Not much. Okay, so his tail. I'm not going to use those bits we used earlier. I'm going to have some new. So that's been through the pasta machine just now. My desk is black now. Look, black is a very um, destructive colour to use because it gets into everything. Absolutely everything. It's a nightmare. But I clean my, my desk off. I use white spirits. That's the only thing I can get it off with. Um, unless anybody else has got a hack and knows any, any better ways. Right, now we're making the tail here. So we don't want to make it too thin. So about that sort of thickness would be good. So you're just making lots of worms. But you don't want it massively thick. Or like loads and loads of them. So we'll cut that one down in a minute. So we can use that one. That will be all right to use. And that should be good to use. Right, so we're going to cut it down. I don't want a massive tail on him. So, about there. Just judge it. It doesn't matter if you've got some longer than shorter, then it doesn't matter anyway. Um, so you want to point on the ends one of the ends at least and then just lay on top of each other as you as you as you do them so just like that and then just lay it straight on top okay if you can see that i like pointy ends funny about that I don't want square ended hair and then when you push it down just push it into the on the one end just on this end here so just give it a little push so it sort of all sticks Okay, there we go, both ends, like so, so that's starting to look good, so I want that to become a point, I will cut the end off so we make it nice and straight, because we're going to make a hole in his bottom, and that's where that's going to go. Sorry about making all the pieces first, before I started the video. I thought it would be quicker and easier. You can see what the shapes are. They're very, very easy. Everybody could have a go at it. It's it's not a problem. Um, I actually only made him by accident because my daughter was trying to make one the other night, getting very upset with herself. So I made her it, and I was just a quick. Um, it was meant to be just a help her, and then she didn't do any. And then she said to me that I could make a video and show you all how to do it and how I helped her. And I said to her, well, cheeky little monkey, eight years old, how did I help her when she didn't even touch the clay? I made it. So she agreed and we laughed and uh, there you have it. Right, when you make a hole in the bottom, try and make it, oh, blinky neck. Try and make it a little bit lower. Dug a hole in his bottom. That didn't sound good, did it? Just tighten that up a little bit. Okay. And then you're just going to poke. If I can just show you that. So it's just a hole in his bottom. And then you're literally just going to poke that in. Like so. That's it. Like that. And then if you push it downwards. Like that. It will seal itself in there and then just sort of go through it separate the ends because you don't want it to be not, not enough i mean i don't think that's enough on the tail personally 
Um, I'm just going to use a bit of this one that I used earlier on, which was not great, but we'll give it a go. All my little bits of black. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few more bits, which you can do, and then just stick it onto this bit here. I'm just going to make sure it's well in there. So I'm just pushing backwards. There we go. It's because I think I like a bushier tail. I mean, you might like the smaller one. It is entirely up to you. It is just such an easy, fun um, thing to make that I just wanted to share with you how easy it was um, and for you to have a go. And If you do have a go, please put it in the comments below because I'd love to see what all the work that you do. Um, and, and any problems you get, you've just message me, please. Do just send it either leave a comment or... Actually, I'm going to pull that back out. Okay. Um, leave a comment or whatever you want to do. Um, or you can message me. You can find me on Instagram. I am on Instagram. I'm not great with technology, so my son is my... my he, he deals with my Instagram. And then if I get a message, he just tells me I've got a message and what it says. Or you can email me, my email address. That's better. Look at that. Uh, email address is on there as well, so entirely up to you whichever way you want to go, whichever way you want to do it. That's better, it fits in the hole as well, better. Okay, and then like I did before, just separate the hair as high up as you can sort of separate. There we go. And then if you want to just make sure it's all in properly just use your one of your tools just make sure it's like so and there you go one beautiful right, let's hold this over here so you can see it properly one beautiful look at that horsey i mean you could turn him into a female horsey and put like um flowers on his forehead her forehead it would be but you can make it in any colour you can do grey with white um, it's up to you entirely up to you but he's absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to say thanks for watching have a go message me let me see what you do too I really really want to see it um, it's nice to know that people are actually watching my videos which are great Thank you very much for subscribing to me again, like I say. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. We're going to have... Um, sorry, I've got a light flying around there. Uh, we're going to have... and uh, Do me goblets. Which is going to be really looking forward to. I've never done one before, apart from the one I've done in the kitchen, which I'm going to show you in my next video. And then we're going to do a set of six black ones. Um, so I'd like some ideas on what we could actually do... Um, on theme wise on those I was like I say thinking along the dragon line but to be honest it would be nice and anybody's got any ideas so thanks for watching hit that subscribe button and stay safe